Now we're kicking it up. We're getting into happy feet. You go from Solaris <laughs> to happy feet back to back and you're in good shape. <laughs> That's how it seems to go too. You know, you go into some metaphysics and they give you some good support, but then, you know, you really got to get into the groove of the whole thing, you know, to really start to feel it. So that's what's so great about this journey. Come back to the cartoons, <laughs> and dance, and music, and inspiration, and heart song. Singing your heart song. Yeah, you know, it's some interesting parable there, kind of going off through isolation. They kind of went through special relationships. They went through almost like the prodigal son story got thrown in there a little bit. And uh, appearances, form versus content. Mighty companions joined him. Yeah, mm -hmm. mighty companions. Humor. We, you know, it's got really the a lot of interesting things in there. Rules of society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the rules of society saying resist yeah. to the the dance. Yeah. Don't do that in public, that's not very penguin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, from the very start, right at birth, that's not penguin. Yes? We have the body as a communication device. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever the joy flows through. Yeah. The voice. Yeah. So, it's just like a journey. He starts off where he seems to be kind of already the outcast from, from his parents and friends and so forth, and then goes off when he's just kind of relaxing and discovering the flow of the dance. That's when the, the big birds come to eat him. So he has a little bit of divine providence <laughs> when they really get ready to take a bite. He falls in a hole where they can't get to him. I mean, how many of us have had those kind of experiences where it looks, from the world's perspective, really bad? <laughs> and then all of a sudden you find yourself in some, some kind of circumstance that seems to be the saving grace. I've had a lot of those. I think a lot of us go through that. We have that. There, and his mighty companions were right there for him, and he made it out of that. Didn't, just a few, fe lost a few feathers there the big sea creature, but uh, then what do you think about some of those falling scenes? Remember that falling yeah. song that yeah. all this thing? That was really falling. <laughs> like, just totally abandoned to the body. The body's getting banged all around, flipped around, <laughs> and it was almost like, I, I don't know if I've ever seen that in a movie where it's almost like the permission, the full allowance to fall. And he just kept slipping and sliding and falling and falling and falling and going and then into the sea and then the giant tumbling, you know, like boulders of ice squeezing in on gut and he's just shooting through. Divine Providence, Divine Providence, always a crack, always a hole, always a little sliver. It's very and, lead. Yeah, very lead and very, you could say, carried, okay. literally carried along all the way through the whole fall. And uh, it's very graphic of it. That's our spiritual journey. We seem to just fall and fall and fall. And just when you think you've fallen all that you can fall, you fall more. <laughs> and, and then you know, the father had such guilt, said he wasn't really there for him, not even one single day. So he had all this heavy guilt. And then he was able to express it. Yeah. And then the dance yeah. came in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The dance was in there all along. It just couldn't be suppressed. It had to come out. It just had to come out over and over and over until the end, you know, everyone was dancing. And then the aliens dance. <laughs> 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 the human aliens.